Hey everybody, it's Andrew. I wanted to come on here real quick because I have a really wild story that I don't think I've really ever told. As you get older, you kind of sit and think about your life a lot more and, and have um, do some sort of like deep retrospective of, of your decisions you've made and, and things that you've done. And when I was 15 years old, I had got caught smoking weed by my parents and I know weed now is rightfully destigmatized and there there's not as much um, legal ramification around it here in Michigan anyways uh, but at that time this would have been you know I'm 36 so 20 plus years ago uh, weed was still like a pretty big deal. Like if you got caught with it and uh, especially by the police or by your school or, um, you know, you would get in, you had the potential to get in a lot of trouble. Um, and I'm sure that there are a lot of details about the laws at that time that I'm not accurate on in this video, but that's not really the point. The point is, is that I got caught smoking weed by my parents and one of my, um, punishment was I had to go get a job and I had never worked a real job at that time you know I, I did some side work for my grandfather he owned a kitchen and bath company and I would do small things here and there um, to, to make some money but I didn't really have like a real job um, I also didn't have a driver's license yet so transportation to and from work was not really an option outside of my parents and so yeah, I wasn't shocked, but at the time it was, you know, it was a big deal because I never had any responsibility outside of my school and sports and things like that. And so the first place that I could think to go to was uh, this place called Bay City Coffee and Tea. And this place would host bands and I was pretty active in the music scene or at least was trying to be at that time in my life. And... I would see local bands there and just have a lot of fun and we spend Friday nights um, watching the, the we would put the drummer up in the window and you know the front man and the bassist and the guitarist and usually four piece bands um, there were uh, shows in the basement there as well which if you've ever been in the basement at that place it's not super delightful but anyways so that was my very first job and um, I didn't really care for it, but it was pretty easy. It was after school, you know, evening coffee shop jobs are pretty chill. Uh, there, There's not tons of meetings. It's usually just individuals, maybe reading or um, hanging out during the week. And so, you know, I worked a, a few shifts a week and I learned a little bit about how to pull espresso, but it was no real training program or anything like that it was pretty much like the main barista there at the time kind of showing me how to make stuff how to what to clean where to clean when to clean how to close where the cash goes all that stuff um but all by memory there was no hand you know now we have handbooks and all these wonderful resources and tools to help our baristas and so I think about like starting in coffee, right? My first job. But what's wild is that, you know, I opened a cafe in Bay City in 2012 over on Washington Street. It still exists today. Um, it's not under our brand in any way, but that was my first like cafe that I went to open um, like by itself in, in Bay City. Um, and then I went and I opened a shop in Detroit and there's a whole story there that um, I'd love to dig into at some point. But beyond that, I, when, when Detroit started to fall apart back in, two, and this was been in 2017, my partner, my business partner and I, Dave, we were looking at, uh, we, we decided that we should open a shop in Bay City. And at the time it was a place called Brewtopia. And uh, what's interesting is that those people at that time were like really interested in, in selling their space. And the business wasn't much of a business, but it was uh, 
it still was a coffee shop. And it was the same place that was Bay City Coffee and Tea 20 plus years ago where I had my first job. And, you know, full circle moment is when I met with the building owner and we signed a lease and I started to tear the bar apart because we need, it needed to be redesigned. And we basically, for the most part, redid most of the surfaces and interior in that space. And I remember like taking the bar apart and then I would flash back to like when I worked there when I was 15 and closing that old dirty espresso machine. And every once in a while when I walk into that space, I still remember that like feeling. And um, I just thought it would be interesting to share for those of you that don't know that, that, you know, the space that is our headquarters where our coffee is served to the community locally because right now we don't have any other cafes that we're operating. The Bay City one is our only cafe that we are operating. Uh, that's where I started. That's That was my very first job. That was my first foray into coffee. And I knew at the time that it was interesting enough, but I didn't really know why. I knew there was some freedom there. I loved art and being creative. And, and obviously a cafe tends to attract those types of people and um and i still love that about a coffee shop um, but one of the things with populous is we didn't really want to cater to just one type of person and so our shop at times is filled with you know business people and artists and politicians and construction workers and in reality, that's what we set out to do when we started the Populous brand was a coffee for anyone. And it's not, not everyone will like it, but anyone can. And so that's what we set out to do. And, and it makes my heart happy. And it makes, it brings me so much joy when, when I walk into that space and think about where I've come personally and then where the business has come over all these years and we're still true to our mission and so yeah i just wanted to share that i thought it was interesting and i thought it was a fun story so anyways if you're interested in more fun stories i guess just stay tuned for the next one and hopefully it will be equally as entertaining and if it's not that's okay too have a good day